You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Time now for the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm, um, I'm doing okay. I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. I'm just muscling muscling through like like everybody else in America. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. This woman had a pretty cool husband, and she was righteous uh, in her own right. Martha Washington. Oh, her yeah. Today. Uh, she was uh, the first lady, first lady. The first first That's lady. right. The first first lady. The first lady. first lady. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Good call, John. That's Thank why you. you're here. I know. I do it again. <laughs> I'm a big fan of history. Uh, Wayne Brady. Okay. Really made a splash for himself on whose line is yeah, it I anyway? Wayne, not uh, part of the Brady Bunch. He is a blast. He is not. Uh, let's see. Uh, Charlie Watts is 78 today. Nice. Love Charlie. He's just so demure. Do you know who I'm even talking no about? Idea. No idea. Uh, he plays drums for a little band called the Rolling Stones. Oh, yeah. I did know that now that you say that. And he still plays wearing a little suit and he never says anything and he just kind of smiles and drums. He's just <laughs> he's just the strangest little rock and roller probably in the history of the world. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, pushing 80 now as are most of the wow. Rolling Stones and still touring. Yeah. Which is incredible. Let's see. Huge day historically speaking. It was 1896. Hmm. Guglielmo Marconi applies to patent. Okay. The radio. Yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, he's got an award named after him. He's the Marconi the, the Award. Marconi, which no one in this room has ever even sniffed, let alone yeah, received. I did win a but Macaroni the, Award once. Which kind of the just same a thing. Box of craft, not the same. 1857. James Gibbs patents the chain stitch single thread sewing machine. Okay, that's cool. There you go. And in 1928, and I know you guys are going to love this one. The craft company rolls out the new, improved, are you ready for it? American classic, Velveeta, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. oh I like Velveeta. That was actually ten, 10 years after it was actually first produced and marketed. Huh. In 1918 by a different company, which was then bought out by a company that was actually the Velveeta Cheese Company. Huh. And in 1923, Kraft bought the Velveeta Cheese Company. Huh. Revamped it, tweaked a little bit, remarketed, it, and uh, there you go. Velveeta. Hey, three words. What's that? Queso dip. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> I think that's actually two words. but two words. Yeah, you keep correcting me. See how the rest of the show goes, John. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't call it cheese. It's Velveeta cheese food, which I thought was interesting. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. If you have a credit card... We'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm roof tough and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. Oh, I do the top of the morning. How are you two little Good. We're doing lovers? Great. John, good to see you, Heidi. What? Hey, Heidi, Heidi, what do you know? Ranger what do you know? Dan. What do you know? What do you know? Hey, you know, I've been giving this a whole lot of thought lately, Heidi, and uh, seems to me you should probably have your license suspended because you keep driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, hey. oh, oh. Oh, he does. it just never gets old. I got to tell you what. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, big news, and I want to do a big uh, Ranger Dan thank you. Kind of take things out of what we normally do here, which is uh, critter knowledge, because every yeah. now and then it comes down to life lessons. It really kind of does. Definitely. Life lessons. I want to uh, thank everybody. It uh, just been reported by my accounting crew that uh, sales have been darn brisk the last couple of months of uh, the Ranger Dan official hand sanitizer. I yeah, I got some of that. For that, and... Uh, you know, I've had fans uh, over the years kind of like to take me aside and 
and asked me how I do what I do. I said, Ranger Dan, how is it that uh, you seem to know exactly what America needs at exactly when they need it? <laughs> yeah, almost like you start these things. <laughs> well, i got to tell you what, little Radio Rangers, it really is all about recognizing opportunity. And, you know, sometimes opportunity knocks, and uh, other times you got to kind of break through opportunity's door, maybe sneak in through a window. <laughs> <laughs> Back opportunity into a corner, cover its face with a chloroform, chloroform soaked rag, maybe zip tie its hands behind its back, and work your way down opportunity's backside, maybe pausing a moment to gently cup its backside. Wow. This is. Then duct taping its ankles together so it can't get away. It'll give you some time to figure out exactly what you're going to do with that opportunity. <laughs> talking about opportunity, right? And of course, with any witnesses who may try to be nose in on that opportunity. And well, there you go, little Radio Rangers, where opportunity <laughs> knocks, open that darn door. And if not, we'll just break that door down. That's all the time we've got today, little Radio Rangers. Noticed Heidi slid her chair away from you a bit there. <laughs> keep, keep in mind, what doesn't kill you makes stronger, except for bears and murder hornets. They'll kill you every darn time. There's Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Each month, you have these things called bills. They have to be paid. It's part of being an adult. Not the fun part, but it's important. So if you can find a way to get some of these expenses, it makes that bill day a little better. At insurancechicken.com, we'd like to help. Our site allows you to see what several different companies have to offer all in one place. Bank out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris, the award-winning journalist who graces us with his presence this time each day, uh, well, each weekday, uh, as long as it's not a holiday. A very important today. Uh, very uh, Polls are open. It is, it's election day. It's voting right. day. Yeah. Holy mm-hmm. cow. How did I forget about that? Well, that's why I'm here. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Polls are open till 7 o'clock. If you're not sure where to vote, just jump on the googly googly interwebs and... It'll uh, it'll tell you where to go. Uh, lots of things going on. Do keep in mind we are one of those just horribly voter oppressive states where you're going to need an ID. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and in case you're wondering, there's over 30 states in the union where you do need ID at this point. So there you go. You can use a driver's license or a non-driver ID card. U.S. government photo ID. A passport is acceptable. Armed Forces ID is just fine. Mm-hmm. Current. St- Student photo identification card from South Dakota High School or South Dakota Credit Institution of Higher Education or a tribal photo ID. So there's a lot of ways to do this. Yep, absolutely. Yep, and that's uh, that's what I know. So yeah, get out uh, and vote. I know a lot of people are doing the social justice thing and everybody's up in arms about this, that, or the other thing. Me, I tend not to get triggered about much. Yeah. Unless I'm running short on Propel Lemon Water, and then don't even look at me. Don't even make eye contact, because I will mess you up. We try to keep them stocked around here. Yeah, that's all there is to it. So again, if you are of age and you are registered, go vote. It's uh, Absolutely, it's it's super important. Greatest country ever, and we're living right in the middle of it, and don't take it for granted, man. That's what I'm saying. That's right. That's right. I agree. (laughs) <laughs> That's my. Spe- I'm going to put my soapbox away now. Okay. No, this is this is one of those things where there are some people who they want their voice heard by being loud, you know, um, somewhere doing something, causing a ruckus. There's other people who stay quiet. It's called the silent majority. They don't do that. Instead, they they quietly step into a voting booth Make and they sure vote their conscience. Make sure your voice is heard at the polls. That's and- me. I surprised someone a week ago. Uh, I swim that I just recently met, and she just point blank asked me where I said, are you one of those right winger people that are, and it was really that's bizarre kind of it's like what and I said this is kind of how I operate I, that's my personal business and uh-huh. my leanings politically and everything else I'm pretty sure no one cares right so I just whatever man I'm yeah. good with who I am and I just act accordingly so but if you're on Twitter everybody cares Dan <laughs> so you need to get on Twitter and like you know he cause doesn't. a ruckus I don't. don't. I really right. don't. No. Or better, go vote. It's a good good day to do it. Vote. It's, 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 the, vote. it's the only day vote. to do it. Curse, <laughs> and curse. Well, you'll do it again in November, but it's a good day to do it now. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris.
2020 has become quite an interesting year. Many people have been cooped up for way too long. We're excited to join hundreds of friends for a fun time in Cancun this October. Hear awesome music from Belinda Carlisle, Cheap Trick, Billy Idol, and many more. The seance is at the end of October, and we are ready for a vacation. I hope you will join us. We've been to this event for many years, and it is so much fun. Get more information and reserve your spot at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom in Sioux Falls. Now, I'm going to tell you a little sneak peek today about something we are going to do tomorrow. For several of you, you've probably noticed over the last, I don't know, two months, however long it's been going, we've had several uh, bizarre ads run in the morning show for different notaries. So it started with 99-cent notary, then 98-cent notary, there's a notary world in there. I'm trying to think what else there was. Bunch of silly notary ads. And I've had people ask me, what is the deal with that? And uh, we're going to tell you all about it tomorrow. And we're going to play all of the notary ads back to back to back to back. And that's going to be on at this time tomorrow. And uh, I don't know how long. I think there's nine different messages we put together. But it was all just a spoof, a silly, fun little thing to make people smile and it worked, and I, we appreciate the fact that, that people did enjoy that, and we absolutely had fun doing it. And I want to say thank you to everybody that was a part of that as well, because we had a lot of different people involved in helping to make that happen. But it was just silly. It was just fun. It was just something different. You know, wasn't talking about COVID-19. We weren't talking about anything negative. It was just positive, fun, silly stuff. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to have Heidi and Dan join me right here in this studio, and we're going to go through and play all of these and then have a little commentary between them. So it's kind of like when you watch a DVD of a movie, and if you want to watch the, you know, the comment, uh, what is it, the, uh, the track that's got all the comments on it, Director's Cut. Yeah, that's what it is. It's kind of like the Director's Cut tomorrow. And that is going to be tomorrow in place of Water Cooler Talk and our bright spot of news, because it's it's a lot. It's going to be several things back to back to back to back. So it's going to be on at this time tomorrow. And then if you miss it, we're also going to throw it on our Facebook page in podcast form, because it really is pretty silly. And it's just, just fun, and it's the kind of thing that... If you can listen to all of that and not crack a smile, you're doing something wrong, man. So join us tomorrow right here at the same time, same place, for a whole lot of fun. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Not brought to you by any notaries today. But our bright spot of news comes your way courtesy of Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. Small businesses are the heart of our community. As things get back to normal, I hope you'll go out of your way to do business with locally owned businesses in your area. We've been so pleased with the response of our gift card challenge that we're going to keep this going. If you can, buy an extra gift card. You can use it yourself or give it to someone who needs a little help right now. When you buy a gift card, remember to post a photo on social media media with hashtag gift card challenge learn more at giftcardchallenge.org time right now for a little bit of entertainment news of the day with mr dan Ferris. you know me love them celebrities are fabulous although a lion's share of them should probably be institutionalized for quite a while <laughs> hey this is this is great news I, you know, there are so many like home improvement shows and stuff like that, which is somehow I got hooked on this one just because I really liked this couple and they do a heck of a job. Happy 17th wedding anniversary to Chip and Joanna Gaines. Oh, yeah. They're They're just so adorable. Yeah. And it's like they're not making it up. You know what I mean? Yep. They're just, they just seem to be really cool people. And from what I've seen, they're darn good at what they do. This, we uh, met them in an airport once. There you go. This uh, past Sunday, Chip Gaines, 45, showered his wife of 17 years with lots of love, took to social media posting throwback photos from the 2003 wedding, mm-hmm. and messaged, quote, everything about you has made everything about me better. Aww, and 17 wow. years later, I'm still learning from and loving on the most incredible woman in the world. After all these years, Joanna Lee Stevens, you really are the girl of my dreams. Happy 17th, sweet girl. I love oh, you. I am going to copy that? that word for word and use that on our anniversary. I'll put, <laughs> I'm going to put your name in there instead of Joanna's because that well, would be weird. That would probably weird, be but, helpful. But that's great. I love that. 
Yeah, the uh, fixer upper couple share son's crew who turns uh, two in July. Man, they do have a little 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 herd of uh, scamplers. I'll tell you what: Duke, who is eleven, uh, Drake is fifteen, as well as daughters Emmy ten and Ella thirteen. Nice. So congratulations to them, man. It's nice to see a couple that can uh, make it make it happen, and right. they've That's had awesome. huge success and deservedly so. If you ever watch the show, one of the things you'll notice is they always agree on everything all the time. Uh, they do not. No, oh, no, right. they really don't, John. Great. <laughs> I love it. That's the that's the fun part is they quite often don't agree on anything. But but unlike somehow, you and Heidi, we we disagree on things. Ship knows when to back off. <laughs> Where you just keep digging that hole until you need a miner's helmet and an oxygen tank. Calling Dan, That's I'm like, right. can you please talk to Heidi for a no, John, Seriously, I watch you and I just go, oh, good Lord. How has he made it 20 years? How many guy meetings has this dude missed? It's, a, it's been a lot. Well, Dan, thank you for coming in, man. It's a My pleasure. All right, it's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. If you have a credit card, We'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, June 2nd. The equities market started June on a positive footing as investors continue to bet on the U.S. economic recovery. The S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and NASDAQ Composite all rose about 0.50% on the first day of trading in the month. The adage, sell in May and go away, seems not to be the case in 2020. This week, with Q1 earnings cycle all but over, investors will be turning to the news and the data for their cues. While the news is volatile, the data is expected to show signs of rebounding within the economy. Last week's jobless claim figures show a deceleration in job losses. With the economic reopening gaining momentum, the market is ready for signs of rehiring. The consensus for new job losses for the last week is just under 2 million. Claims had been averaging near 220,000 just before the pandemic struck. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.